Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedules to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist who enjoys painting in acrylic and making my characters come alive on the canvas. I'm also the creator of the course Succeeding as a Fine Artist, Guidance, Tips, and Strategies. This course is available on Udemy and it's ideal for helping the emerging artists make a living selling his or her art. The link is in the description box and you can find this course on Udemy. Also, please press the subscribe button so you can be alerted every time we speak with amazing artists from around the world. With me today, all the way from Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago, is Anika plowden Carentin. Hello, Anika. Hi, how are you today? Fine, thanks. And thanks so much for joining me on Art Snack. Really lovely seeing you again. Well, Anika, please tell the viewers a bit about your journey as an artist. Well, I've been practicing art since I was um, very young, probably 14 in school. Yes. And I was always um, inspired by other artists, my teachers, um, creatives in Trinidad and Tobago, yes. texture, movement, the energy. And um, although I didn't go straight into art when I left school, I had a different career path in, in communications. I yes. really always used art as my anchor. And that's one of the reasons I decided, okay, here's what, I really love this. I feel passionate about art and I also feel passionate about how it helps others to express themselves and that's the decision that I made to go fully fully into art and other ventures related to art. Excellent. So would you like to tell us a little bit about your NGO and the, the role that art plays in that uh, venture? Certainly, I, I am the creative director of an NGO. It's called Chosen Hands. It's a nonprofit. And we use art as a vehicle for healing, wellness, self-expression with both vulnerable groups. And when we, we speak about vulnerable groups, that can range in many areas because there's always a bit of vulner vulnerability in yes. a lot of us. Right. Um, but we started off specifically working with vulnerable girls and women, and now it has expanded to working with young people and helping them to use art to express themselves in a positive way. Um, social change and art always go hand in hand. Yeah. And when I was growing up, the whole creative concept of the artist as a social concept, um, conscience also went hand in hand. And we realize now that um, young people youth, the youth in, in our country, um, they need to find a way, a positive way to express themselves and to give, send up positive messaging. And, and that's what we do with, we do in the NGO. So the NGO is comprised of um, professionals as well as other artists that donated time. We have workshops and we also have sometimes weekly sessions with, with homes and we yes. teach art and self-expression. Okay, thank you so much. Very noble cause. Now I'd like to see a few samples of your work. What do you have to show us today? Well, just to the back, we have this very large piece. It is the creative concept called the dancing bell. Yes. The dancing bell is that woman that transcends difficult situations and so. So for me, she's a symbol of hope. Her hands are usually always outstretched. So if you look at it, that's her head, and this is her heavily textured fabric. She looks really beautiful, well-dressed. Um, but a dancing bell could be of any nationality. Yes. She is you. She is me. She's yes. your friend to know. She's your mother. She's that woman who has been able to navigate life's challenges, but yet so. So this symbol is very near and dear to me. So when I started painting again in 2018 full-time, Yes. Um, I had just um, switched my job. I was teaching part-time, lecturing part-time, and I was wondering, okay, my purpose, what do I really want to do? Yes. And that whole creative concept of the dancing bell emerged. Okay. It was really looking at what, what anchored me 
and how can I use it to express express myself and that's my art yes and the dancing bell also was inspired by a lot of women and mentors that I was exposed to who decided that they were going to follow their passion and purpose so the dancing bell really for me is a very private personal and very public expression of how I feel as right. an artist as a as a female artist as a mother as a wife as a daughter and how many women I see out there that have been really trying their best and they look very beautiful on the outside and they're very strong in the inside and they're really working towards achieving goals. This piece also is a depiction of the dancing bell and it's done in red and mm -hmm. her hands are almost outstretched. Yes, and yes. She just, she just symbolizes a lot of hope and, and the textures, it's fabric that we that I would fabric. use. Okay. Yes. And, and what and, um materials Going, to, I know you use mixed media, so please tell us some of the materials that you would use. Sure, I use things as simple as discarded cardboard. Oh, I use paper, but acid free paper. I would use um fabric, fabric, I yes. would use sequins, I would use twine. This one has a lot of twine in it. Oh, to create the texture, yes, to create the texture. Um, that's a starfish. It is an actual, um, some shells that I would oh, decorate. Oh, right, right. And I use molding paste. Yes. So the piece at the back, this one, this piece speaks to the creative concept called um, intimate thoughts. Okay. And I dream almost in color. I dream in color. Okay. So that particular piece is a very heavily textured piece. Mm -hmm. lovely to touch and i know people said oh my gosh artists don't touch the wood i love people to touch the wood oh okay and that's different <laughs> I think it's good to touch because it's it's very heavily tested and i don't think it will get damaged and if it does i'll fix it okay <laughs> i love you to touch it uh, there's some pieces that i really like the the viewers to, to touch and even the business who purchase it because you get a lot of positive energy when you, you touch the pieces and you realize your intimate thoughts, my, my intimate thoughts, I dream in color. Then we right, have this little right. piece at the base here. This is one of my, my favorites. I love um, hummingbirds and butterflies. Okay, and lovely. When I started painting um, a couple of years back, I was inspired by my visit to Iraq, um, the home of the hummingbirds. Okay. Um, and there was something about those hummingbirds that really inspired me when they were fluttering around me. And I started to do hummingbirds, which evolved into um, a dancer and it uh -huh. evolved into the dancing bell. And then nice. there's certain um, creatures that I, I, you know, that I really love. And one is the hummingbird, one is the party mamswell. And I do love um, butterflies and the symbol of... Um, Changing, change. Yes, it comes with, yes. with the butterfly. This piece is done with fabric. It's done with um a piece, textured piece. Yes. It's a little bit. And you of, use um yeah. acrylic paint for the color. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I have to use acrylic. Um, yes, so that the colors will come out pretty vibrant. Right, right. Beautiful, beautiful. And I like the fact that you allow viewers or uh, people to touch the work. Well, <laughs> they're still going, they're afraid. Um, I remember it was so, it's so funny. I was walking, I was in an exhibition. Um, I walked behind the person, and the person was just staring, staring. And I said, you can touch it. And they watched me, they lift their finger. And they said, you can touch it. It's okay, I'm the artist. They said, but no, they said, I said, okay, you can. No, I'm not advocating for everyone. But there's some pieces that, you know, when you do touch them, the energy that you feel is so positive because I right. do my work with love. I yes. do my, I, I produce my pieces with a lot of passion and I, I do my pieces, I create my pieces with an energy that I want. I want the love, the energy, the purpose, the vibrancy to also translate to the person that is purchasing, the person who's, who's owning it, my, my desire um, is for persons to find their passion, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and to use their time to to give back. And you don't know who you might be talking to that you might be planting these little seeds and yes. the seeds of hope. And that's where I come back to the concept of the dancing bell because I have had several dancing bells in my life. 
who have deposited good things in in my life and have allowed me now to stretch my hand and to help others others. okay while others are also stretching their hand to support and help me like what you're doing with artists which is (laughs) phenomenal so Thanks for being a dancing bell. <laughs> oh, you're most welcome. I enjoy it immensely. So tell viewers what exhibitions you have at this time. Well, I'm so excited. Um, I will be having my second exhibition. The first one was when I was in my early 20s. So now I'm having an exhibition from the 7th to the 11th of March at Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. Um, it's located at Federation Park. In and we're going to the name of the exhibition, Trinidad and Tobago, the name of the exhibition is called Inspired. Inspired. And it really speaks to all the things that have touched my life and have thus far and, and that the areas that I'm inspired and interested in. Right. So you have um, the dancing bell, which is the symbol of hope of right. women. Interestingly, it's the day before my my it's the day of my birthday it's going to be oh, launched <laughs> well, happy birthday seven, <laughs> that's the seven and on the eighth is international women's day women's day so a very timely yes. exhibition it's Hi. very timely <laughs> and we will be having two um days dedicated to young people um okay. one is going to be um for home and the other one is going to be for young students um, who would have taken part in the NGO workshops. Right. So we have two days dedicated to that, and then the exhibition continues um, to be open until the 11th. And 11th I'm really of hoping, March. Okay. Yes, the 11th of March, from the 7th to the 11th. Right. And I'm really hoping people reach out to me via um, IG, which is Anika Plowden, Quarantine Artist. And uh, message me if you're interested, if you want to bring your school to visit. Um, and if you're foreign based, I will have the pictures and so forth on the on the IG. And um, yes, yeah, so you can uh, you will have pictures of all the um, the art on display on your Instagram. Endeavor. Yes, right. on Instagram. Okay, very good. Well, thank you so much for sharing that um, information with us and best of luck with your upcoming exhibition. I hope um, everyone who's viewing this in Trinidad certainly go, would go in person at the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago in Federation Park to see Anika Plowden uh, Corentin's exhibition. Okay, and now viewers can see more of my work too at uh, jennylynjames.pixels.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's all we have time for today. Thanks again, Anika. Jenny Lynn, I just want to say thank you for your service. Yeah, thank most you welcome. for showcasing so many local and international artists. We are extremely grateful. You've been doing this for two years or more, and we can't wait to see you when you come back to Trinidad for your short visit so that we can spend some time with you. So thank you so okay. much. Okay, you're most welcome. You so All right, bye-bye everybody. Bye.